Hi, I'm Shriyans, and welcome to the course Mastering Reactive Programming. Through this course, we'll understand and master reactive programming in JavaScript. A little about me, I'm a full-stack web developer. I extensively use reactive programming techniques both on the client side as well as the server side. I love and work on open source projects a lot. And finally, I'm really, really passionate about teaching. So let's see what we'll be going through of this course. So in the first section, we'll be learning all about reactive programming. We'll start from scratch and learn about observables, observers, and streams. We'll start with an easy library called Bacon.js. We'll be making a few demo applications in Bacon.js. In the next section, we'll be learning about another reactive programming library called RxJS. We'll learn all about streams, observers, observables, and Rx, and we'll play with a few operators. Moving on, in the next section, we'll be seeing day-to-day -day implementations of RxJS. We'll be first building a stopwatch with RxJS, and then we'll implement drag and drop with RxJS. Further, in our next section, we'll be learning about different kinds of operators. We'll be seeing hands-on examples on different operators. We'll learn about filter operators, error operators, combination operators, and so on. Further, in the next section called Make Your Own Observable, We'll be creating and implementing our own observable from scratch just using functions and objects. Through this, we'll understand the inner workings of an observable and we'll demystify a lot of things. Further down the line, we'll be learning about subjects. Subjects are really special because they behave both as an observer and an observable, so they are really crucial. And finally, we learn about schedulers. And as the name suggests, schedulers are really helpful in scheduling data coming from an observable. So that's kind of a broad overview of what you will be learning throughout this course. So now, as for the prerequisites, you just need basic understanding of JavaScript. And a little experience on Node would also come in handy. So finally, I'm really, really excited for this course, and I hope you are too.